You know, the amount of times that I've been told I look like a goddamn highlighter when I wear this this set is honestly really targeted, really insane, and during Black History Month, really kind of racist. <laughs> So what's up y'all, it's your boy CJ Towers, and welcome back to my channel. So, throughout my time being an avid bookworm, um, you know, it took me a while to find the things that I actually genuinely do like when I read. It, it, it's, it's a tough one, it takes a while for you to like find the books that you like because like there's so, there's so many like ranging from like different aspects of like everybody's minds and imagination that it's like, you know, you, you gotta find a way to like really consolidate like what you want to read and what you're looking for and what you're trying to get out of like, you know, literature. Today's video is going to be dedicated to three things you need to look for when you're finding a new book. So let's get right into it. So the first thing you need to look for when finding a new book is definitely the genre. This is obviously the most important one since it's kind of influences the types of books that you do read. And I mean like it's the general basis of what you're looking for. Some people like say categories kind of are a part of that too, but I don't think so. I'm a, a young adult so I read a lot, a lot of YA novels and um, there's just also this new I hope this new sub like category called new adult where it kind of is a mixture of young adult and adult and I I think that's pretty pretty on par of what I'm looking for and even what I'm like looking to write myself so yeah I, I would consider myself a little bit of a new adult you know I'm out here true to this not new to this <laughs> you know there's fantasy mystery drama romance um, there's, there's a whole lot, so it's, it's gonna take some time to really find your niche and find what you're looking for. For example, it took me a while to find out that I really like big sci-fi books and fantasy books like dragons and magic and like aliens and space. That's really what I like to get into. And you know, sometimes I can read it, get into like modern fiction, like set in like today's world type thing, but it doesn't really give me a lot of the satisfaction that I'm looking for, so that's why I tend to go for like bigger books. Like it kind of gives my imagination a sort of an escape. Genre is mostly like subjective to preference and stuff like that, so if you don't like those big books where it's like, oh, elves and dragons, like take Lord of the Rings for example. People don't like Lord of the Rings. Some people might just like Harry Potter because it's more their speed, even though that's kind of like in the same kind of headspace. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just saying like, you find what you're looking for in the genre that you want. Like maybe you don't want a high fantasy book, maybe you want a modern fantasy, like like new, set in New York City but people actually still do have magic, or like a uh, dark sci-fi, like if Aliens were, was a book. You know, like it, it's, it's kind of up to you. The next thing we can, we can talk about is pacing. Some people more or less like slow paced books, you know, it takes them like a lot longer to read through it because like it's more extensive it's in its vocabulary and its descriptions and stuff like that. People like that stuff because it helps them like get a more accurate picture in their mind. Like I, I actually do enjoy that. It helps me like really create the scenery of like what's going on in the chapter and like what, what we're doing at that moment. I like that type of stuff, but I also do like more fast-paced books, the ones that are intense, the ones that like pack a punch, the ones that get to the point and don't stop. Sometimes if it leads to a duology or a trilogy, that's kind of a good thing, you know? It really depends on like the, the, the basis of the story. But there's one thing I really want to like address when it comes to that. There's a difference between an author writing something for it to span over like a certain amount of books or a certain amount of arcs. And there's, a, there's another thing when an author just creates like sequels and, and like trilogies and stuff like that for literally absolutely no reason. And I'm looking at you, Discover the Waters. Y y you fucked me. You fucked me over. <laughs> it's it, 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 it's kind of like a it's more of like an author thing than more of a reader thing. But personally, for me, I kind of it's kind of hard to like just retain that. So like if you like a certain book and it's more slow paced and ha ends up having a, a second book. You know, it's, it's a kind of a gamble to see if the second book holds up to the first book. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't, sometimes it just falls flat on its face into a pile of dog shit. It, it happens. <laughs> and it's kind of the situation of like, does a book need a sequel or did the author just kind of run out of ideas? But like I said, like I said, that's kind of like a, a, a author thing and more of a, not, not a reader thing. No shade to authors, no shade, I promise. On the other hand, there are authors who are like extremely fast paced with their writing and I kind of connects to my next point, the, the third thing that I want you guys to look for. And this might come as a, like a little bit of a, 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 not a shock, but like a, oh, that's different, word count. Word count is definitely one of the biggest things for me. Like if a book is over 200 pages, I'm definitely gonna love it. But if it's like 250, like below 300, I can finish that bitch in probably like mm, 30, 20, 
seconds. <laughs> I'm just a I'm, a, I'm a quick reader, and like, I could just pick that stuff up. Like, there was one time I read a five, like a 500 page book, and it took me like under 24 hours to finish the whole thing, and it was a sequel. And I read the, the, the first book, and like, 48 hours because I liked it so much and then like the second book I realized came out like in that time span of me reading the first book And I was just like I gotta get it and I read that bitch in 24 hours and now I'm sitting here stuck waiting for the the third installment <sighs> CS Pacat you you and me got some you got some, we got some issues <laughs> It's just like pacing. Um, word count is more of a preference. Sometimes you may want like short stories that are quick and succinct and like gets to the point immediately and you don't have to like sit there and read the whole thing. Or you would want something that develops more over time and it, it just takes a lot longer for the descriptions to get through. And you know, you're sitting there and you're just watching this whole thing just like happen before your eyes and it's kind of it's kind of a cool thing but you know it's like i said it's a preference some people like the the journey other people like the destination and that's that's completely fine as long as it like connects with your reading schedule and it doesn't conflict with anything that you want to do with the rest of your life then go for it read a short story read a longer story it's like i said it's entirely up to you i should have probably prefaced this video by saying a lot of what i'm saying is like more personally for me but this is just like what I tend to find when I'm like looking for a new book. Like I have a huge stack and like that's what I used um, to find this huge stack of books that's sitting on my window seal. And that's what I'm going to use to get the next couple of books that I'm going to be finding for this 100 book challenge. So yeah, that's all I have to say about this. Um, maybe I'll make more of these. Maybe I'll make a video about what books not to look for. I don't, I don't know where I was going with that, but yeah. <laughs> Other than that, if you have any suggestions for like books or like videos that you want me to make, leave them down in the comments down below. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe, uh, do something positive with your life, nothing negative, and I will see you guys in the next one. Deuces. Continue writing this 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 story that I'm I'm cooking up.